So today I want to talk about Lucifer. My work with him and I also want to talk about evocation. Now, here is the thing. Three years ago I signed the pact with Lucifer. And pact was for Lucifer to teach me the art of evocation, which is summoning spirits and invocation which is invoking spirits into your flesh in order to achieve a particular result. What I didn't understood back then is that mastering evocation and invocation is indeed difficult in order to properly conduct those operations. So sorcerer needs to be willing to sacrifice a lot of time and effort, do a lot of preparation and he needs to obtain understanding of the process by practicing and and seeing what works and what doesn't so let's explain how evocation works okay what you are trying to do during evocation is you are trying to give a physical vessel or imitation of physical vessel to a non-material, non-physical being in order to be able to interact and communicate with that being as well as command that being to fulfill your task or receive gnosis. Now how it is done? There are three main components. You need to have manifestation base you need to have enough the energy to create the body of the spirit or imitation of the body for the spirit. And you also need to have enough willpower to give that energy a structure in order to create a body which spirit will inhabit. So technically when you are doing evocation you are using your own energy and energy of nature around you in order to create a body for this incarnate spirit so you can communicate with it. It takes a lot of time and energy. I succeeded to do it only twice. If you want to, in to evoke spirit to physical materialization, especially if it's few times, you need to be willing to read conjuration for hours and do necessary preparation in order to evoke the spirit. In my experience, seeking particular day and hour can help, but it's not crucial. What is crucial is you need to prepare manifestation base for the spirit. And you also need to read long enough and to invest enough energy into evocation in order to truly create artificial body for the spirit through which the spirit will be able to communicate with you. Now, having psychic abilities helps because you will be able to feel energy and direct it more effectively. But in regard to evocation, the most important thing is you need to have manifestation base, you need to have focus, and you need to invest yourself into reading conjuration and read it until you truly manifest physically the entity. There is no shortcuts and also there is no ways to make it easy. But one thing indeed can help, which is calling upon authority of beings above spirit you are trying to summon in the spirit hierarchy. For example, if I try to summon King Paimon, it's useful for me if I want material if I want to materialize it physically to call upon power of Lucifer, Belzebub and Satan. Three entities which are above Paimon in infernal hierarchy. So when I do such thing, when I call upon power of Lucifer, of Lucifer, Belzebub and Satan, in order 
to manifest Paimon to physical materialization, it's much easier to make energy of Paimon denser, to make his presence stronger, and to get stronger results with evocation. Preparation for the evocation, such as meditation, collecting candles of appropriate color and appropriate instances, as well as drawing appropriate circles and triangles, helps. In my experience, more I prepared for the evocation, the stronger evocation was. Also, asking spirit for things necessary for his manifestation beforehand, or asking spirit for particular things you need to do in order to make this big particular evocation easier is really beneficent. You can communicate the spirit without physically manifesting it if you just presence his energy intense enough so you can communicate. That's possible. It's possible to communicate with the spirit without complete physical materialization. But if you want truly powerful result, physical materialization is the way to go. Once you achieve experience close to the physical materialization or the physical materialization itself, you won't be able to deny the existence of spirits. I myself am mastering manifesting spirits to physical materialization. Those are things I deemed effective in my practice, which made my evocations more powerful. Rising sacred space for the evocation also helps, but in my experience, it's not necessary. In my experience regarding invocation, the most important thing is actually your will, your will power, your will power, and your willingness to sit and go through the ritual until spirit manifests. It takes a lot of time and energy. It's not easy. And it, li- and it really puts your physical and mental endurance to the test. Thanks for watching. And I hope you should be able to evoke Lucifer to physical materialization one day.